Hey, church family, it's good to be with you again, truly. I'd like to share this story with you. In his book, A Forgiving God in an Unforgiving World, Ron Lee Davis tells the story of a priest in the Philippines, a much-loved man of God who carried the burden of a sin that he had committed many years ago. He had repented, but still had no sense of peace, no sense of God's forgiveness. In his parish was this woman who deeply loved God, and she claimed to have visions in which that she spoke with Jesus and he with her. And the priest was skeptical, however. And so to test her, he said, the next time you speak with Jesus, I want you to ask him what sin your priest committed while he was in seminary. The woman agreed. A few days later, the priest asked, well, did Jesus visit you in your dreams? Yes, he did, she replied. And did you ask him what sin I committed while I was in seminary? Yes. What did he say? He said, he doesn't remember. <laughs> that is so cool. In dealing with our sins, God isn't waiting to club us. He invites us to a rational decision. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 says, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. God wants us to come to a humble repentance. And then he responds with something like found in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 17. Their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. Satan remembers. God chooses not to. The devil will try to beat you up with that long forgotten sin, just as he did with that priest. So the next time Satan torments you with a truly repentant sin, just tell him that you checked with the Lord and that he said, he doesn't remember. God bless you guys. Looking forward to being with you again sometime soon. Bye.